Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Okay, hello. Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? Okay. So I was supposed to have a personal reading right now. Uh, I don't know what happened, but... It did not show up, so I'm going to do a collective reading for you right now. I'd like to invite in the angels of loving spirit and loving kindness, loving energy to join us in this collective reading. So I do a fan on right behind me since I have my air conditioner off because it's so loud so um let's see we're gonna have a hard time lighting this let's see there we go oh. and of course i put that right on top of the other candle from my my last reading this morning okay um yeah i'm hot right can't think <laughs> all right so we're gonna Spray some, let go. Okay, so we're gonna let it go. It's no big deal. I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's safe. <sighs> Spirit, let me be a clear and open channel for this collective reading. This is a timeless reading for whenever you find it is when it's meant for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, let's find out what we are talking about today. Mm -hmm. Okay, like these ones. This purple one here. I like these here. All right, let's grab a couple of reds. All right. The peacock. Beware of great pride. All right, I should probably put these way over here. I never utilize this space over here. I always put it at the top and I always run out of room. Apple, temptation will test you, right? This is like people not showing up to the readings that they've scheduled. I don't know if it has to do um, with the time difference, you know, because I'm Pacific time and a lot of my um, clients are going to be Eastern time. So I don't know if there was some sort of mix up there because it, it does get confusing. I hope everybody's safe though. I hope that nothing bad happened. Um, hopefully it was just, they forgot. Okay, we have March. That over here. Dog, close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Ooh. So already this kind of, like these two together, temptation will test you and pleasure with a close friend. Kind of reminds me of like friends with benefits. Broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. <laughs> okay. And a lot of times with, you know, you have friends with benefits. It doesn't usually work out to be a marriage. I mean, sometimes it does. Not always, though. And then we have July. <laughs> it's just funny because that reminds me. So I'm July baby. And then, you know, back in high school uh, or right after high school, I had a friend with benefits and he was my best friend, um, which ultimately killed our relationship. And he was also a July baby, so it just, it was funny to me. Career. F 
fox shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business okay i do see a lot of business happening here this could be somebody that you know from work four leaf clover great good fortune okay I can't even see all of these. Mm -hmm. So let's move these guys up here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. You know, and if you see the fox with the slyness, um, which, you know, we also have the apple here, it reminds me of Adam and Eve. And kind of the temptation of that apple, which is very sly. Right. Okay, let's see what we have here. Ten of Wands, the Sun. King of Wands. I get this card all the time. It's really interesting. Um, Knight of Swords. Okay, so this is you. I feel like there's some sort of heavy burden happening here uh, that you need to talk over with some friends or family. Uh, you may be younger, a younger person, and you need to speak with your elders about some sort of situation, all right, that's happening here. Um, I think you feel like you're being played for a fool And, and your mind is reeling here. <laughs> you're you're back and forth between, we have a, a unicorn head here on this night of uh, fantasy and reality, right? And then we have the normal horse, right? Because you have this unicorn head on a human body, which is riding a horse. Okay, and there's apples in here too. It even looks like maybe some donuts or pastries in there as well. Um, this apple either fell out of your cart here and kind of exploded or like you took bites out of it, but you spit it out. It seems like you have this apple that fell over here too. The apple that fell from the tree. That one went flying. Two of Cups. <laughs> okay, Judgment. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. I don't think I've ever gotten this card. Before, out of this deck. Oh, in the world. Okay, this is the other person, okay? This is... Um, Somebody that, yeah, you do have a connection with, some sort of unity, but there's a lot of chaos going on here. And you don't really seem to even, like, realize it, right? Because it's like this, this apple that's all mushed up over here is kind of the same thing over here. Um, I feel like this person, you know, is really trying to connect with you. They're, you know... They're pouring out of the same pot, so uh, they may be cut from the same cloth, so to speak. Uh, you have very much in common. Uh, you are in business suits here, so this is somebody that you are working with. And um, it's really making the situation hairy, right? Hairy. We have the, the rabbit hair. Um... And you know, this person is really afraid of somebody finding out and uh, judging you for you know having this relation with each other. You know, this could be an authority figure who is blowing the horn, or you know, I'm I'm hearing like whistleblower, right? A horn blower, somebody who's telling on you, and you're really afraid of that because there's all these other people around. 
and they're acting really weird and suspicious and uh they don't really know how to act around you because they don't know that you know that you've been told on um but you you might not know who has done it yet right who told on you so they're acting really weird um because they are this whistleblower. And so you in turn are acting a little weird too, because you know um, that this has come out, right? And so here in the Wheel of Fortune, we have the runner and the chaser. So you are chasing this other person Because, I mean, you're in love with them. Ultimately, you know, you're having these relations and you're really starting a bond. And it's very risky. It is uh, 6 o'clock here on this clock. It might mean something to someone. There's also the deck of cards. Somebody could be, like, um, this other person could be into poker. Maybe you even work at a casino together, right? Maybe this is, like, a dealer one of the dealers and you know you could be I don't know maybe the waitress or um, somebody else who works there at the casino you could really be anything you know um, I, I do kind of see the waitress here with the ten of wands for sure um, you know delivering something or maybe you're restocking the machines with money right because you roll around with your little cart um, it, and you're restocking with that the fruitfulness right and the abundance the money you know and you could win or lose right um so this is really a game here and um you know we have this chessboard you know you got to be strategic about how you play this out Okay, we have the world card here, which is endings and new beginnings, and it has all the suits here, and it actually looks like a an actual card, right? Like if you were to be playing poker or something. Um, she's got her leg up. I'm really drawn to this leg being up and kicked back here. She does have these two daggers and there's daggers on both ends and she just seems to be gripping these pretty tightly uh it's almost like i will stab you mf -er, right yeah watch me you know <laughs> feeling cute today watch me stab you in the back kind of a thing right because you have this person who's told on you and so you're feeling a little revengeful or you know this other person is feeling very revengeful towards whoever has told um on you two yeah and she has this um sash around her you know, anytime there's like a party or um, somebody's about to get married, it's somebody's birthday, a lot of people will wear sashes, you know, saying I'm, I'm the birthday princess or today's my birthday or bride to be, things like that. Um, all right, let's see what the relationship is here. Ooh, the Eight of Swords. Okay, once again, we have all these cards flying around, just like we do in the Wheel of Fortune here. And um, she looks like she's crying. It is raining, it's like hailing almost. Uh, slates of rain. And uh, feeling very trapped and very emotional about this, feeling like they have taken some mushrooms and this is an alter reality, right? Kind of that fantasy here. 
Okay, Four of Cups. I literally get this card, I think, every time I use this deck. I don't know why I'm so drawn to taking this card out. Um, the Four of Cups is about foundation of your emotions, right? And you're definitely feeling very sad over here. Yeah, I feel like there are, there's a support system, though. This person, uh, the dolphin back here is somebody who is trying to help you through this and is saying, you know, you're, you're a great person. Look at all that you've accomplished. Um, you know, don't worry about it. Okay, and we have the fool. Okay, she's like jumping over this big hole in the ground here and the cat's looking at her like okay like really what are you doing right uh and this is very dangerous and like you're having a lot of fun but this is a dangerous situation because if you have a sleight of foot you're falling in that hole and going to god knows where you know and how deep it is how deep is that hole Ooh, this is a cool card never seen this the tower Okay, this is somebody um, being very rageful, right? Because of this whistleblower. So, yeah, I really do feel like this is you here. Uh, and pulling that tablecloth off of the table, and it has, you know, all kinds of things on it you know, pineapple, it's a cake. You know, all the dishes, the silverware. Uh, looks like maybe an apple there again. And then we have the seat cushions, you know, like the stools. And we also have um, the candle holder, the cam candelabra here. But it's shooting out fireworks. So there's a lot of, like, explosion happening here. And I feel like... This is um, you guys being called into office, right? And talking to your supervisor. And this is kind of the reaction you guys are having over it, right? Because you you're might be getting fired or reprimanded or, you know, asked to resign or like one of you needs to leave because we can't have this um, relationship going on in in the business. Like it's not allowed. It's it's you know, part of the rules, right? In the regulations that you can't um, have relations with someone that you're working with. And so there's a lot of explosion. These, I'm not sure what these are. Oh, they kind of look like pine pineapples at first. And now they look like little jars, like the jars of potion, you know, the drink me, um, which is make me small. So, and there's four of them and they're it looks like they're flying around and they have like little chicken feet or duck feet and legs which is really interesting right so these could even be like ducks like duck duck goose duck duck goose um oh i see some little legs here <laughs> um in the background and so they got flipped over and flipped back all right so this could be you know, your, your rage and, and it's actually hurting other people, right? Because of how revengeful and raging you are. About the situation. So, um, and we have the situation here is that this is a, a real big burden here. This union is a huge burden and it's really causing you a lot of pain. And anguish and anger and um, putting you in a undesirable position. Okay, and the things that are unseen is that you do have somebody there to help you. Somebody there to help you shine the light for uh, new beginnings. To kind of lift you up. 
and you know present that trophy to you of you're great you're fine it's okay you know you are the light don't become somebody else like it's like you don't even know who you are you're being so weird right now right like let's Let's sit and talk about this. And you do have somebody there. But you don't see it. You feel like you're all alone. Okay. And the actions that you need to take. Yeah. There's a lot of movement going on here. Um, you know. Just balance. Balance things out again. Uh, you know. Kind of release the ego take off that crown and not be so boastful oh do we have that it's something about being boastful here right beware of great pride right with the peacock so kind of let your pride down and uh, just keep moving because the wheel's going to turn again and the wheel is about new opportunities, you know, risks that you're taking, um, the luck of the draw, like it could be a lucky card as well. So, um, you know, <laughs> I keep hearing like, take the risk. You know, maybe this love is so great and it actually is going to work out. But we do have the broken ring. So parting of the ways in either romance or business. So you have to make a decision is what this is. Of do you want to stay with this job? Or do you want to stay with this person? Because if you really do love each other, one of you has to leave the job. And who is that going to be? And you got to decide that out. Right? You have to take that risk. You have to take that leap of faith. And the outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, the outcome feels like you'd be moving backwards. Right? And you're, you're still stuck in this fantasy here. So this horse is going backwards. It's not going forwards. She's looking backwards. And I mean, technically she's looking backwards too, even though you can't see her face. So there's a step back here, right? Because you probably went to school to, to get into this business, whatever it is. You probably spent some time or you've had a lot of years there and you put in your time because we have time here as well, right? So this is endings and new beginnings. But I do feel like this is a fantasy. So you be very careful on what you choose. This relationship not might not be what you think it is. This could be purely based on sexual activity and not a true connection. Because we have this rage here, this world card. She just doesn't look very happy. She feels like she's got to protect herself. Like she's been stabbed in the back, right? And it's a double-edged sword or a double-pointed rod. So either way that you're going to hold these rods here, you're going to get stabbed. No matter what your choice is. You have to keep walking. Take it one step at a time. Know who you are. Know that you are a king or a queen. Who deserves to be recognized. Okay. And um, I feel like this other person may have chosen the job right they have chosen the job they didn't even discuss it with you they just chose it and so you are pissed off you are explosive
and you topple this person over. So you might actually be losing your job and your partner or this friends with benefits. Okay, let's see. I wanna know more about what this job is. Avenger, memory, resolve, hatred, plotting. <laughs> right, it was just what I was saying about how angry you are here. You're the Avenger now. That is now who you have become. Musician, composer of harmony, creation, passion, soulful sound, celebration. So uh, one of you might be a musician. Okay, or one of you might be calmer than the other. I feel like this other person is probably acting in more of a composed way than you are because the choice was easier for them than it was for you. And painter, depict, um, subli sublimate, sublimate, abstraction, form, sensation. Right, this is the abstraction. This is that fantasy. You're painting something in your head that's not necessarily true. Um, you know, you can paint whatever you want. It could be abstract. It could be um, realistic. But you've really painted something in your head that you thought was beautiful, but it's not real. The vision. Okay, this is the world card again. All right, this is that world there. We have the owls, which are death and rebirth. So you definitely have to go through this death and rebirth. The tear, of course, right? You're very upset about this. This is something you're going to cry about for sure. Let's see if I can fit it over here. Uh, okay, that was more than I wanted. A bit off more than I could chew, right? Uh, the riddle. So, yeah. You know, it's like a, a riddle because you're trying to figure out what does this person feel about me, right? You thought that they were somebody who really loved you and cared about you and was holding out their hand for you, right? And they have the, their fingers kind of pushed together like this. It's, I don't know, you know, maybe three, um, you know, it's almost like peace, but it was with three fingers. So it's not peaceful, right? It's third party situation. It's evil eye here in the darkness uh, and here you are reaching out your hand to grab this other person's hand but it's they're closing themselves off they're not reaching out to you the vow hmm. and you really did think that you guys were going to end up getting married right and we have that broken ring that broken promise And, um, you know, that's just not going to work out for you. So you have to soar. You have to fly away from the situation. Let's see. I don't know to see what the timing was. Oh yeah, so the timing is six o'clock, right? So maybe when you get off your shift, <laughs> this is gonna happen. You're gonna have this judgment when you get off your shift. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, fifth house, creativity. So here we have like the drama, right? And it's kind of scary. All right, there's a lot of drama here. It feels like a circus. We have Black Moon and Lilith, mystery. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of mystery around it because you, you just can't understand why this person wouldn't pick you. And so there's just going to be this inherent mystery that you're never, ever going to know about. Let's see. Uh, my black. Let's read that one. 12, that's three. It's about creativity. And we literally have creativity here. All right, so 12. That's on 58, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that's four. It's foundation. Okay, the mystery of this foundation. Okay. Black Moon Lilith mystery. In revenge and in love, woman is more barbaric than man is. Oh my God. <laughs> right? So it's like these cards right here just depict that first main sentence, right? So I feel like you are the woman. This other person is the man. And it could be feminine, feminine and masculine. It doesn't have to be gender. It's time to be careful. Think of what might manifest over anger, bitterness, or revenge. What you have worked so hard for may collapse. Oh my God. Is there, a, I haven't even gotten past the first two sentences here. This is already summing up exactly what I've said. Astrologically, Black Moon Lilith represents soul expansion and cosmic cosmological awareness. The force of aloneness and the path of individual. Black Moon Lilith is a dark goddess. She is a ghost of to the moon. And it's like the shadow. As a shift in power and consciousness, she symbolizes destruction before creation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we have that destruction here, right? And then um, our recreation of ourselves here with our new beginnings after the death. All right, let's see. Lost my place. Black men. Uh, oh, she's good. Okay. Uh, there we go. The name Lilith means screech owl or night hag. Lilith is the ancient goddess of mystery and transformation. Stories of Lilith appeared around 5,000 years ago in the area of Sumeria where she was said to have been handmaiden to Inanna, Inanna, the queen of heaven, right? And so I do feel like, you know, like the maiden here, somebody who's serving. However, most of us recognize Lilith from the Hebrew myth as the first wife of Adam. Ooh, right now I was talking about the apple here with Adam and Eve. Lilith also, also appears in folklore in medieval Judaism as the rebellious first wife who refused to submit to Adam and enraged fled to the Red Sea, an area of mystery and danger. Oh my God, this is like right on everything that I've said blowing my mind all right 
There Lilith proceeded, procreated with other spirits, giving birth to demons. Ooh, yeah, okay. The demons here, the Avenger, the Plotter. Later, Lilith became a subscubus, uh, sus, bus. Uh -huh. I don't know if you can see that word, but you can pronounce it for me, please. Um, appearing to men at night, sapping their strength and causing wet dreams and impotency. Throughout the ages, Lilith was demonized. She was the first spiritual upstart, but in recent years, her status has changed. Lilith is a feminine force of command and strength. She represents the powers we hold in secret. When this card turns up during a reading, something lurks. Lilith appears as the dark part of the astrological chart. She is our shadow side. Mm -hmm. The dark face of the moon where mysteries and unexplained occurrences lie in wait. This card indicates a call to wildness, even subversion. Lilith is the uh, evocation of what may be or may not be. She can manifest as madness or self-realization. Lilith represents a refusal to submit. So it is not a good time to give in. Even when the path seems a rough one, there may be a tendency to isolate the focus on feelings of revenge. Mm -hmm. The hallmark of Black Moon Lilith energy is muteness and aloneness. Lilith is a subdued power and uh, complemented, complicated magnetism. Lilith remains awake while the rest of the world is asleep. She is the dark thoughts that enter our consciousness just before we fall asleep. Black Moon Lilith suggests female rebellion. She can represent an angry mother, an enemy, or an embittered woman. Mm -hmm. Or even a stalker or a scorned woman. For sure. You're feeling scorned here. I'm feeling very bitter. You have a feeling you are waiting for something to happen, but you don't have the entire information, so the facts are hidden or mysterious. Something stalks. You feel it. But Lilith is sharp. She knows. She senses. She processes what is there. Because Lilith feels slighted, she can represent a formidable foe or dangerous enemy. Though Lilith, through Lilith, we discover creativity in the beauty that can exist in the darkness, as long as we keep our own demons in check and under our rule. Okay, Black Moon, Black Moon Lilith card in brief. Arousal, the magical elixir of sex, tantic, tantric sex, glamour, seduction, the other woman or man, an affair, bitchiness, the feminine force, an invisible force, Complicated circumstances, stalking, the colors red and purple, shame, envy, guilt. Rejection, feelings of being replaced, yep. Feelings of being slighted or overlooked, owls and bats, haunted trees, the cold of night, demons of power, control, outsmarting the opposition, winning, what survives, what stays alive, Creativity, the safety of the womb, unplanned bursts, ooh, controversial art or creative expression, pausing to rest before the next action, the balancing of karma. Corresponding tarot card is the Queen of Swords. Key ideas, mystery, revolt, revenge, darkness, erotic obsession, and witch's wand of power. Queen of Swords, huh? I don't know that we had the Queen of Swords. Let's see here. What did we get? No. 
So the Queen of Swords is somebody who is going to be nurturing. Um, you know, in the upright would be nurturing. Um, and has control over their mind. But I feel like this, the Queen of Swords would be in reverse here, right? You have uncontrollable um, actions, right? You can't control your mind and how angry you are and how explosive you feel. And you're not being very nurturing. You're not being your true self to others because you are so angry about this. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, that was your message for today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope that you found this to be useful and helpful. Um, try to you know, reinvent yourself with this anger and don't stick with it, right? Um, allow it to pass and allow it to be reborn into something else, something new that, you know, this might actually, um, you have great good fortune here. So this might actually help you to maybe get into a different career or find someone new that ha does actually have a good connection with you. Okay, so I feel like in March, this is when uh, this turmoil is going to happen because these flowers are drooping, right? And then by July is when you're going to be renewed. All right, thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.